Hi, I'm Sarah from the Red Ferret and this is not your typical packaging, this is uh, the Ubico and the Ubico uh, has been sent to me by via post, is used to um, secure your computer, so we're going to check it out. So we get two things, the YubiKey 4 over here and the YubiKey 4 Nano. What a rose! Simple and strong authentication. So we're going to check out the smallest one first. This is the 4 Nano, 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 and uh, it's, it's pretty small as you can see. So you have different services that work with the YubiKey, for example, Google, Facebook, Windows, Mac OS, Dropbox, Keepers, GitHub, Bitbucket, Okta, Ego Secure, SecMaker, all, all, a lot of different things that work with it. So as you can see, this small thing is a YubiKey, and right now I'm, go I'm, I'm going to have to fill in my password, but if I just do this... is it doing so as you can see I'm now connecting my passwords to my pin and right now uh, it's connected so if I want to install something I just press my UB key and it will work I don't know why, but for some reason, if I touch this thing, it it generates a very long password, and I have no idea why, as you can see, and it's very weird. So every time I press this thing, it says that the structure of the pin code is incorrect. It's not incorrect. Oh, come on, man. Okay, yeah, I tried installing this small thing, didn't work. Um, if you have any tips for me or saw what I did wrong, shoot and I will try it again. But uh, with this small thing, uh, it looks like it generates a very long code and, and that was not the code I filled in. So, check out. let's check out the other one. Calm down, Simon. Or, or, okay, so it looks like the ID of the YubiKey is different than I thought. I thought if I press this button, I could log in, but it actually means that when you plug this in, if you can see my screen, let's help you with that. If you plug this in and install it correctly, it will uh, auto take your account and then you have to fill in the password. Ah, I guess if I wish to spell it to me. So I have found when I press the key, it generates text. As you can see over here, you will see it generate text if I press it right now. What? I C C C H L N B D. That's weird, very weird. So the only thing uh, this is meant to do, I think, when I watched the video, that's what they did in the video, the official video. Um, right now I have my account over here and I can log in with my password or I can use the YubiKey. Pull this, plug this in and then uh, it comes up right away, but if I press it, of course, it won't work because it will type the very long letters and I have no idea why it does that but if I press the uh, regular pin code I installed on the YubiKey oh press the wrong one it will work as you can see so uh, I don't know um, if that really is intended to do it that way it's a bit weird I thought uh, if I would press this it would authenticate but I'm probably doing something wrong or this thing is not working as meant to on MacBook and I hope you can explain it to me, YubiKey, why it's not working and then I'm glad to make a new video on it. But right now, I can't really recommend it because 
it doesn't really work for me at least. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this video and as I already said, Yubigi, I give you a second chance if you comment on this video or send me a mail um, on how it should work. Um, if it really works this way, well then, then I don't, it doesn't really seem useful for me at least. Um, but if there is actually a way, which I think there will be to press this thing and then just uh, uh, it will type in the password instead of typing all those letters as you could see then it's a very neat device if it works, but uh, it doesn't work right now. All right, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like down below. If you didn't, leave a dislike and tell us why. And I hope I'll see you in our next video. Bye-bye.